Oh, oh, what a nightmare this morning was. <laughs> what a nightmare. Oh, I got all the way out to this field and then I was unpacking my uh, bits and pieces for the uh, detector and spade and camera and stuff and I looked down at the back of my metal detector and went, oh no. <laughs> I forgot a vital piece of equipment. Oh. Every time I go uh, metal detecting, when I come back, I always plug in the, ba the battery for the camera and I always plug in the, the, ba the charger for the bike and I always plug in this. This thing here is the lithium ion battery for the detector. <laughs> and I forgot it. So I had to cycle all the way back home and now I've cycled all the way back out here again, which is about 16 miles. Oh, I'm knackered before I even start. <laughs> Something else for the checklist, methinks. Oh, look at this down here, my lovers. I got a pond. Right. It's been recently dug out, so uh, it was filled in, but the farmer dug it out because he wanted it sort of restored. Wish I could have got on there before the stinging nettles grew up. So I got a signal over here. And it looks pretty good. Right. Hopefully it's a good big hammy. Rain's a bit rocky. Oh, I forgot my pinpointer. Oh, here it is. I didn't forget that. There it is. Huh. Looks like some sort of catch for a log. Maybe a medieval door. Yeah, a little catch there. Yeah. Nothing on there, I don't think. But very medieval looking, maybe, maybe not. Right, on to the next. Go oh, look at this signal I got here. It looks just like that hammy is like loads of stuff coming up here, and yet the crosshairs are over here. Not much of a signal on the screen. Oh well, soon find out. Like a twist. A twisted bit of lead in a funny shape. Solid, I think. Yeah, 
strange, weird. All right, might have to show that one to my finest liaison officer at the British Museum. I had a letter back from one of my uh, finds the other day from the uh, British Museum saying they didn't want to keep it. That was two uh, Elizabeth the first sixpences found in the same hole very close. It's got to be uh, classed as treasure. And it goes off to the coroner and he decides whether they want to keep it for the museum. But as it was they didn't because they weren't that great. Right, I'll clean this up. Might be a might be a figure or something chopped up. Right, here it is my lovers. I think it's just a very odd shaped piece of lead. Sort of twisted almost like a little tree. Right, on to the next. Go look at this signal I got here. Mm. It's near the pond, it says it's deep. What do you reckon, moo tube? Yep, moo tube. Oh, pesky things. It's penicillin for cows and sheep. Oh, we got a signal just here. It's in a small place. <laughs> No. That's what was given a good signal that was. An old nut. I'll be doing my nut later. Go oh, look at this my lovers, I think I found something old. On my field of dreams. Oh look, the pin's still intact. It's a funny shaped one. It's all like misshapen, weird. Right, I'm gonna go and clean this up and I'll get back to you. Wait. There you go. Yeah, it's definitely made that way. Just an odd shape. I don't recall seeing it that shape before. And on the back, it's flat. So it's probably pretty, pretty old. Sort of maybe 15th century, something like that. Right. On to the next. Oh, look at the signal I got here. Oh, state of that screen. It's better. Two inches. Oh, look at this down here, my lovers. I've got something. It's not going to be a bit of copper pipe, is it? Oh, no, it's not a bit of copper pipe. It's something else. I thought I was detecting iron with it. It was just too good a signal for it to be... Not something else there. Right. What's that? Part of a battery? 
possibly. See nothing written on there. Right, so what's that then in my lovers? Is it part of a battery? It's not very heavy. Quite lightish. Right, on to the next. Oh off to have a rest. Oh, I don't know what's going on with this field. I thought it was gonna be the field of dreams. But unfortunately, um I don't understand it. I'm finding lots of bits of old white lead, which is a good sign. And I'm finding old buckles, which is another good sign. There's a medieval village, or was one, it was probably vacated during the Black Death, um, just over there. And I'm not finding any hammers, none. Ugh. Maybe still dry the ground. But I've, I'm getting signals at a depth. That, that uh, buckle was about nine inches, so I should be picking them up. Perhaps this village was a poor village, and that's why it died out. They didn't have uh, hammered coins. <laughs> uh, there's got to be some hammers on here somewhere. Yes, got to be. Because it's not been detected b before. The landowner said he's not had anyone on here before, and I'm pretty sure he, he hasn't because of the uh, lots of bits of lead and the buckles. You know, I'm not finding stuff piled up anywhere. So I must just must be searching in the wrong place. I've done around the pond, and that's why I found one old buckle, and the other one was near the pond. Uh, what I have to do is try the corners. I think if I tried the corners, sometimes the corners of the fields are good. But whether it's good for hammered coins, they, t they tend to sort of come up anywhere. It, when, in fields, they just come up anywhere. But the majority of my hammers have come up near ponds. So I'll just have to keep swinging. But I'm gonna have a rest. Oh. Puff on me vaporizer and then you get back to it. Cheers! Oh, that's it, my lovers. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to cut the day short. It started to piddle down with rain and I'm starting to gradually get soaked through. And there's never reason why I'm gonna shoot off. It's because these pesky cows have noticed me. Oh, they've gone. There's a good strong fence just here anyway. And they're young bullocks, and I don't like young bullocks. As you can see it's piddling down. Right. Yep, horribly wet. <laughs> 